Okay, we're good to go. Hi, I'm David. I'm a big fan of renewables and I'm keen to invest in community renewable projects in the Canberra region. So we're very lucky here in the ACT to have a, a very forward-thinking government that set a renewable goal of 100% renewable electricity by 2020. And it will happen. Hi, I'm Shane Rattenbury. I'm the ACT's Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Yeah, the community has been very positive about this target. The government has already signed the contract, so the wind turbines are now being built. Some of the solar and wind has already come on stream. A lot more comes on in April 2017. And certainly by the time we get to 2020, we will have a 100% supply of electricity from clean sources. We're here at the Mount Majura Vineyard where the northern block just behind us is the site we have selected for a 1.26 megawatt community solar farm. Now that'll involve uh, banks of, of north facing solar panels, about 5,000 solar panels in total and that'll be owned by about five to 600 people here in the local ACT community. Solar Share Canberra is a way for people in our local community to have co-ownership in medium to large scale solar power plants. Community projects like this uh, a one-way communities have got round recalcitrant uh, governments, I guess, that have been too slow to, uh, to act. Some are frustrated. They live in a unit uh, and there's no space on their roof or they have the wrong facing roof direction at their own home. Having community ownership uh, really builds social licence in a community. And I think examples overseas really paint that picture for us. We've seen uh, places like Denmark, for example, having huge amounts of renewable energy and all of it is owned uh, within a four kilometre radius of, um, of those different plants. and it's been really important for us to have all the stakeholders in the community um, effectively being involved in the process for the community and solar fund for solar share. Most of these community uh, renewable projects offering a better return than putting in the money in the bank uh, and most of these are pretty low risk so we can be pretty confident how much energy a solar farm is going to generate and plus we're supporting an industry that I'm very keen to support. Uh, there's a certain pride in Canberra being a jurisdiction that is doing what the science tells us we need to do, embracing renewable energy, uh, doing it in a way that's affordable, uh, that we can actually uh, be economically responsible about, uh, but also deliver a large level of local investment and get a great outcome for the environment at the same time.